hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to share with you my favorite cheese recipe at the moment it's perfect for sandwiches and you can just modify the recipe slightly if you want to use the cheese for maybe pizzas or other uses but this is like a perfect um this is the perfect recipe for if you want to make sandwich sliced cheese so what you're going to need is a saucepan i've just shown you the coconut milk and nutritional yeast also need some garlic powder and potato starch so to the saucepan i'm adding the coconut cream did i say coconut milk i mean coconut cream nutritional yeast and the garlic granules now i'm going to say here that i was i don't know what i was thinking of but i added the nutritional yeast at this point forgetting that my coconut milk was coconut cream why do i keep saying coconut milk my coconut cream was cold so it made the nutritional yeast float if you want to avoid that happening to you just add your nutritional yeast to your um potato starch and add that both together now i've just added some sea salt and turmeric for color and i'm giving that a good mix giving that a good mix and then this is where i realize that oh now i've kind of added the nutritional yeast to the cold coconut cream so it's floating and i'm trying to <laughs> combine it but it won't actually fully combine and you will see later on once it's added to the heat I still try to get it well combined but it doesn't actually happen but once the mixture heats up it will dissolve but yes to avoid this my slim learn from my mistake and add your nutritional yeast with your potato starch and mix together so I'm just going to mix this until it's combined as much as it can be and then I'm going to move on to making the second part of this recipe so i've added the potato starch to a measuring jug and i'm just adding some water to it and i'm going to give this a good mix until it's well combined into like a thick gooey but still a liquidy type texture and then i'm going to add it to the to the saucepan Transfer your saucepan to a low heat and allow the mixture to gradually heat up. And here I am still trying to fight with those floating bits. And yes, you're just going to allow this to gradually heat up and then you will turn the heat up and just keep mixing because you don't want any lumps to form. You want a nice smooth cheese when you slice it so you just keep an eye on this so it's not one of those things that you can leave you keep an eye on it and as it heats up you'll see small bits forming in the mixture as you can see in the clip here just keep mixing just keep mixing
Here I've just transferred the cheese into a bowl but if you want your cheese to be square or rectangle just transfer it into the appropriate shape container and I'm just using the back of a spoon to shape the cheese into a circular shape. Yeah so this, the mixture right now is hot but it's kind of stretchy so I'm able to use the spoon to mold it into the shape that I want it to be and then i am going to leave this to cool down my cheese is now fully cooled and before putting it into the fridge i'm just using the spoon to tease the cheese away from the side of the bowl so that it's easier to remove from the bowl once i take it out of the fridge later on that day or the next day i can't remember if it was like the next day that i got this from the fridge if you want your cheese to set quickly you could always put it in the freezer as well but just teasing it away from the bowl will make it easier to remove nutritional yeast is what will give this cheese that lovely cheesy flavor and i'm just showing you how i transfer these flakes into grounded powder i'm just adding the flakes to my grinder i'm going to give that a good whiz and then voila you have nutritional yeast powder to add to your cheese so this is what the cheese looked like the following day i'm just using a teaspoon to help me to pull the cheese from the sides of the bowl and it should pop out just like this Ooh, look at that beautiful yummy vegan cheese and the turmeric gave it that nice rich and vibrant color to mimic cheese look at that slice cheese guys this cheese is so delicious i will put the measurements in the description box or on my website i'm not sure yet it might be a link to my website where you can get a printable version of this cheese recipe so that you can try it at home and i guess i'm doing a little bit of a presentation here for you guys so you can see the cheese in all its beauty Ooh, where's my hands probably licking them i'm joking i wasn't licking my hands i was probably wiping them off but this is the final cheese and it is so delicious let me know in the comment section do you want to see a stretchable version of this cheese a pizza type cheese um maybe making a macaroni in cheese using this cheese recipe as i said you just need to make minor moderate modifications to the recipe in order to get a loose textured tea cheese thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye